recent years, we start to do what we call PRP before the hair transplantation. It is a procedure in which we take some blood from the patient and centrifuge it and isolate some certain fraction of blood cells. These are called thrombocytes or platelets and we inject this solution to the top area of the patient's head. Uh, because these uh, these cells have seven types of growth factors inside. They actually create a very rich medium or recipient beds for the incoming grafts. And this increases actually the graft take in hair transplantation. So we, reco we recommend this uh, procedure every time, one or two days before the transplantation. And if the patient is available, we, uh, we would like to repeat it after 20 days. And in hair transplantation, there are three factors which affect the hair take. Uh, one of them is the infection, because uh, infection causes uh, loss of the grafted hair. And to prevent this, a uh, meticulous technique is necessary during the implantation procedure. Uh, we actually provide this in this hospital environment. But afterwards, when the patient is going back, he needs, he shouldn't be infecting himself. Uh, this may be due to uh, dusty conditions, if he's going out too much or too often, or this may be caused by uh, patient's perspiration, if he does uh, too hard sports and uh, gets sweating, then the, he can self-infect his scalp with the floor after normal skin. The second thing, patients should not be smoking because smoking decreases the hair take as well. They should quit smoking 15 days before the procedure and also two more weeks after the implantation. And the third one is the scratching because we open a hole in the front and put the hair follicle inside and this there's nothing that holds the follicle there except the blood clot. So if the patient scratches hair or uses a hat, uh, with the hat every time he puts it on and takes it off, uh, the band of the uh, hat actually scratches the frontal area. So the patient may have some hair rust. Because of that, we don't encourage patients to wear a hat at least for 10 days right after the transplantation. Uh, because the appearance of head is this is about two weeks uh, two weeks later after a transplantation it shows that the patient has hair transplantation so uh, they should be prepared for this because they cannot hide this it's not like a, a secret operation so everybody will understand they had a hair transplantation for about three or four weeks uh, because they have some redness, uh, we have to cut, cut the hair very short to take the hair and to implant it. So this has to be mentioned to the patient as well.